Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com, and welcome back. In this part of the WordPress series, we're going to work on styling our custom comments a bit. Before we do that, though, I want to show you, if you go to AwfulMedia.com slash WordPress video series, I believe, yes, you can come here and you can go down and you can download the theme as it is right now uh, well it depends when you're watching this video if I have like 20 parts after this video it'll be different than when you're seeing it but it'll be a download you can download the theme and the video that we have the slider in that's still available as a separate download so you can check that out and I will update this as as much as I can remember to so when you download it this should be the most recent theme files that you can get okay so be sure to go to alphamedia.com slash wordpress-video-series or you can go to the, for, the full URL there if that doesn't work for you. Okay, but what I want to do first is, see this right here? This is supposed to be descending or, yeah, descending based on the number right here. And it's just doing whatever. What it's actually doing is, see, it says 4, 4, 2, 5, 5, and 11, right? But the 4 and the 4 is before the 255 because it's only taken the first number from the 255 and so 2 is less than 4 and 11 is less than 4 because of the 1 is first and the, <laughs> the reason doing that it's pretty simple it's a very simple fix if we go to the index page and we see right here we have order by meta value Okay, but there's a, a specific one instead of meta value, do meta value underscore num, n u m for number. So that means now it knows that we actually we're using a number and not just comparing any kind of random strings. So it knows to take into account the rest of the numbers that it's a full number, not just, you know, whatever it thought it was before. So that fixes that problem. Not a big deal at all. If you notice that and you just thought, I was crazy. I guess I kind of am because I forgot to do that correctly. But that's how you do that. Now, if we go to this and 255, that's I've refreshed this page a lot. Okay, <laughs> I have done some styling here. Um, some of you said don't do it on camera. Some of you said do it off camera or do it on camera. And I just said I don't know what to do, so I'm doing some stuff, some of the styling on camera and some of the styling off camera. But like I said, you can still go and download all this stuff, and you can check out what I did. All I did was make the tags, uh, the anchor tag for the tags, and uh, styled them a bit. And then I made this all kind of in a single line, published by Nick and Poop on the date, instead of having that separate. And I just used the strong tag to emphasize these. And this is the description. What I would like to do is create another field that is like a full paragraph description because this description is so that on the home page it doesn't overflow we have a short sentence description but on this page we could use a full-blown description you know a couple paragraphs one paragraph just a couple more sentences whatever but just we need some more content there to fill that in so the way we could do that is create a couple more or well, just one more custom field fill in that information and then bring that information in. Okay, but we'll do that in a bit. What I want to do is like what I said is start styling the comments because they look they look okay, right? <laughs> you see I have one more comment here than I had before and this comment is a reply to this comment. All I did was click this and go reply, type a comment and submit it. So that's all that is. So I'm going to show you how we can style the replies, the threaded comments, and uh, uh, yeah. Okay, let's get started. If you go to the comments.php and you have a look here, we see that we have an unordered list. And I think it would make more sense if this was an ordered list because they are comments and they are dated. You know, they, they can have a number if you want to. You know, they go in some order, so they might as well be ordered. You know, in HTML, they might as well be ordered as well. I don't know how else to say that. Uh, so we'll just make that an ordered list, so OL. And you see that it has a comment class of 
or in the class of comment list. So we can use that to target the list items inside of here, whatever it may be. So what we'll do is we'll right click this, go inspect element if you're using Chrome. If you're not, you should be. Go down here, let's just figure out what's going on here. You see the UL, I don't guess I saved that and refreshed it, but you see the UL of the comment class. Inside that we have an LI with the class of comment. Okay, so we can take that and use that to style a little bit. So first of all, we're gonna go down here, and this is some CSS for the tags. When you look at that, and uh, I'm not even using that anymore. But like I said, I did that off camera, you can download the files, check out what I did. So we're going to say comment list, and then we're going to target inside that comment list the li with the class of comment. So we're saying the li tag that has the class comment, and we're going to give it a margin on the bottom of say 20 pixels for now, and that should space these out. Let me get rid of that. That should well not the reply because the reply is going to be a part of the same comment. It's going to be nested inside that comment. But you'll see that add a 20 pixel margin below that one. And that's what we wanted it to do. And now to uh, set up this reply here, we can actually go and check out what's going on with this HTML. And we see the UL with the class of children. So if we look at what it's highlighting here, UL the class of children. It is the children of that comment, you know, the one you're replying to. So what we can do is we can actually come in here and grab, you see this depth one? Below that you'll see that we have, I don't know if I just yelled into the microphone or not, but in below that you'll see that we have depth two under this comment, okay? It's the, you see it's the UL here inside of this U, or inside of this LI. So it's a nested list inside of this list. And what we can do is take the depth two and we can use that to style the second thread of comments. So we can say, well, we don't even need this for this. Oh, no, that's a different thing, Austin. A comment list, and then we'll say depth two. We'll give this a margin on the left of 20 pixels. What this will do is set it off to the right under that one. So you can tell that that, that kind of goes along with that. And we'll also give this one a margin on the top of 20 pixels. So we can do this in line here. So 20 pixels, 20 pixels, zero, zero. Oh, margin, left. Get rid of the left part of that. Refresh here. And I think that'll be a zero. And then we'll make this one to 20 pixels because that is the left side. There we go. And now just for some separation, we may not use this but to separate it a bit, we'll add in an HR, a horizontal rule. And that'll just add a little line right inside there. And we'll style that line to not have that weird uh, beveling. We'll get rid of that. And um, that's just for now to separate it. We'll probably do something different than that in the future. But we can kind of see what's going on a bit better like that. And I think I would actually appreciate it a bit more if it was at the top of the comments. We could keep it inside the LI. I don't know why I copied that like that. It would have been a hard thing to type out again. Mm, yeah, just temporary. We'll leave it there for now so we can have some separation. But what I want to do is target this avatar image. And I want to float it to the left and then take this, this username and this date and it'll be right up here and then we'll make the content of the comment the actual text here make that uh, clear we'll clear both sides of it so nothing can float on the left or right of it that way it'll be down under this information up top here and then we could put this I'm just I'm just talking about it before we do it and then we could put this in a header tag because this will be the header of the comment Okay, so let's do that real quick. And I say real quick, but I already forgot what I was going to do. Right here into a header. And remember, header is an HTML5 tag. And that allows us to define a header for a section of content. 
and this is the header for this comment.